Greetings everyone. Welcome to Dada's Food Crave Kitchen. If this is the first time you are tuning into my channel, I absolutely welcome you for stopping by. Feel free to look around if you find any of my videos interesting. I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget the notification bell. This will keep you fully updated in any new video that I uploaded. To all my old and new returning subscribers, I thank you so much for your constant love and support. It is greatly appreciated. In today's video, I will be showing you how to make pork bahal. This is a highly requested video. Pork bahal is pretty much enjoyed in Gambia, especially in the Creole Aku homes. You will find this dish prepared on a Friday for lunch or a Saturday for lunch. If you want to see how I make this pork bahal, please stay tuned and keep watching. Without any further ado, let's get cooking. Alright my dad's team, let's get started with all our ingredients. First I have my pork meat here with the skin on it. It is thoroughly washed, nicely cleaned. There is no pork bahal without any salted pig feet. So you need your salted pig feet to make the perfect delicious pork bahal. So like I said, it's thoroughly washed. Then here I have my salted fish which in Gambia we call geja. It's just simply salted fish. Then I have some croaker fresh fish here as well. Here I have one medium sized onion, couple of garlic cloves. I love a lot of garlic in my food. Then I have here some habanero peppers and one and a half fresh tomatoes. If you don't have fresh tomato, feel free to use the ones in the can. And then I have here some scallions, which is the green onions. Then over here, I have all my vegetables for garnishing. I have some pumpkin here. As you can see, I left the skin on the pumpkin. The reason why I left it there, because I don't want it to break in the pot when I'm cooking it. So leaving the skin on, which is optional, will keep the pumpkin intact when you cook it. Then I also have here some cabbage. Then I have some fresh okra. I have some carrots. Some habanero pepper as well to float on the side, which we call tumbal. And then I have here some eggplant. Like I said, all these vegetables are just for garnishing for Dambaha. And today, the first five shout out goes to Kamira's Kitchen, Chioma's Kitchen, Usman Drame, Aramata Baji, and Theo, the makeup lover. You guys were the first five to comment on my previous video. So here to continue on with the recipe, I am simply going to chop all my ingredients to blend in the blender. So keep watching guys. So I'm also going to be using black pepper and also some salt to taste. I'm using pink Himalayan salt. Use any salt of your choice. These are all my chopped ingredients.
Next, I am going to add all my chopped ingredients into the blender. So here in my pot, I am going to add the combination of my pork meat and salted pig feet. Like I said, there is no mbahal without a salted pig feet. It's a must. Mbahal is a very straightforward and simple dish to make. If you follow the recipe step by step, you will be on your way. I went ahead and add my blended ingredients added some salt to taste adjust the spice to your own liking went ahead also and add some black pepper it is so simple straightforward to make you can never go wrong or miss making this recipe so i'm gonna go ahead and season cook the meat with all my blended ingredients so that all that great um, taste will go into the meat so you're gonna cook it for like at least 20 minutes like so it is so simple like i said and straightforward no frying required or nothing just keep watching the video so i went ahead now and add some water to continue on cooking the pork meat then i went ahead and add my fresh kruger fish feel free to use any fresh fish of your choice and also I added my salted fish, which is the gauger. So I'm going to cook it until the fish is cooked as well, which doesn't take long to cook. Then I'm going to go ahead and take the fish out with the salted fish as well. After taking the fish out, I went ahead and covered the pot so that the meat will cook for an additional five minutes. Then came back at this time, I am going to now take the meat out of the pot. I'm going to take everything out of the pot. You can actually leave the meat in there, but I would suggest if you're cooking a lot of meat, I would suggest you take the meat out. After taking the meat out, now I am going to add some bay leaf for a great aroma to my pork mbahal. Then I went ahead and add my um, vegetables, my cabbage, eggplant, okra, carrot, and so forth for the garnishing later on. So you're going to cover the pot and let it cook until everything is tender. Then you're going to go ahead and take everything out as well, all the vegetable out. So for my pork mbahal, I am using brown basmatic rice. You can use any rice of your choice. If you have the gro broken rice, which is the rice beets, which is absolutely perfect as well. So go ahead and add the rice and mix it. Taste for salt. Cover it up and cook it for five minutes. Then come back and check on it. So after five minutes cooking the rice, until some of the water um, reduced down a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and mix it up like so. And then this time I'm going to cover it. You can cover it with a plastic bag, parchment paper or a foil and cook it on a low medium heat my stove range from 1 to 10 and this time i am turning my stove down to number three let it cook and do its thing for one good 45 minutes
So after 45 minutes, let's check our pork mbahal, y'all. Tara, drum roll. This is the reason why I like to cover my rice or any type of rice I'm cooking, jollof rice or benechin. I like to cover it with foil paper or parchment paper to trap some of the excess water um, um, or from going into my rice. So you see all that water would have probably go into the rice and it will make your rice to be extra mushy. So like I said, after 45 minutes on a low medium heat, this is how our pork bahal looks like guys. If you are new to my channel and this is the first time you're tuning in, like I said, you are absolutely welcome. Look around, you might find one or two videos you are interested in. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. You will be the first to know whenever I upload a new video. And if you want to join the first five um, people to comment on my video to get a shout out, you can go ahead and do so as well. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit that like button, share the video and leave your comment below. If you have any question or any request, feel free to leave your comment below and let me know what you guys think. And if you try this recipe, let me know as well. So I'm going to go ahead and garnish my pork mbahal, like I said, beautifully for you guys. Then I have my rangha bisab on the side. Yes, rangha bisab. If you want to know how I make this rangha bisab, which goes pretty, pretty well with jollof rice, benechin, or any type of mbahal, fish mbahal, or pork mbahal. So I have a video already in my channel how to make that green stuff right there, the rangha bisab. You can go ahead and scroll through my videos, list of videos, you will see it there. So if you are new again, I thank you. Look around. If you like anything you see, I hope you will consider subscribing. And until I come your way next time, may peace be unto you all. Shalom. And thanks for watching. I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye. Yeah.